Hello students, today we're going to learn about mitosis versus meiosis. Again, these are the two important cell division types. We have two in eukaryotic cells. Let's take a closer look. We always start with the purpose, as you all know. We want to start with the uh, purpose of mitosis. You want to create body cells. Remember, uh, I told you to point at your toe, and remember my toe, and that's part of your body So uh, Mitosis makes body cells. Remember that they're called somatic cells. And again, why do we want to make these? Well, let's take a look again. We look at mitosis and we're trying to make um, these body cells so that uh, they help us grow. So that's how we get taller. We add more cells to our body. Um, also, to replace or repair you know, dead cells or old cells or injured cells. So it's to replace those. And also, why do we have... Uh, meiosis now. Well, meiosis is to create sex cells, which are known as gametes. Again, you're making your sperm and your egg. Uh, males will do this in the testes and females will do this in the ovaries. And also, well, why do you want to make sperm and egg? And the obvious is, well, for reproduction, you know. It's not just to make a baby just because it's cute. The idea is it's more than that. It's to keep our species, uh, species surviving and um, we want to procreate and add more to our population and so that we can always be in existence. And everybody wonders, well, what do you mean that mitosis um, is creating identical cells? Well, you know, these cells that we're going to make through mitosis are identical. And the way, reason why is because we all start off, start off as a zygote. And then we go through many cellular divisions, as you can see here. Um, uh, a zygote already went into about eight cells now and then these are identical through mitosis and so when we grow up uh, again we start developing into a fetus even all the cells in the body are the same they're the same uh, they have the same identical DNA yet you you see these different cells you know like the heart cells skin muscle bone liver kidney cells you know they are different cells they do different things but if you look at their DNA they all have the same DNA because it all started off as one cell that kept uh, dividing mitotically. Let's take a look at this important diagram that we must know. I showed it in class and let's just master it real quick. Uh, again, remember, um, we're going to start with the adults. And remember that in every body cell, they have 46 uh, chromosomes. That's because they're diploid. Remember when the sperm and the egg met, you know, 23 and 23, you started off with 46. Well, what happened with that one zygote? Well, it kept dividing until you got these adults. And so every cell has 46. So body cells have 46. They're diploid because they have 23 from mom, 23 from dad. And so we can look in here where where does uh, meiosis happen in females when it's time to make sperm or egg? Well, in, um, in females, obviously, it's meiosis happens in the ovaries. And you have the ovaries around that area. In the males, it happens in the testes and you have meiosis happening in the testes area. So what is meiosis? Again, to make sex cells. Let's look at the sex cells. Let's look down here. Um, so in males, you're going to make, in the, in the testes, you're going to make uh, sperm. And in the ovaries, you're going to make eggs. And again, remember, um, these cells that, that um, make the sperm and egg, they start off diploid. And then after these divisions, you're going to get these um, cells that are haploid. So you're going to cut the number in half. So instead of 46, you're not going to put 46 in the egg. You're going to put 23. And then you're going to put 23 in the in the sperm. And so these are both haploid. Haploid egg, haploid sperm. So when they come together, as you all know, that'd be the next step. That's fertilization. This sperm is dropping off the chromosomes in there. And now there's going to be a total of 46 again. So 23 and 23 make 46. Notice how that magic number comes back together. Like a beautiful story, you know, bringing 23, 23 back to our magic 46 that we need for survival. And so, of course, you guessed it, you know, we're going to bring it back. It's going to be diploid again. Here's our zygote. Again, it's going to have half from um, dad, half from mom. There's going to be 46. And so now this cell that is diploid is the first body cell that we ever had. That was the first body cell. Um, the first somatic cell you've ever had and that's going to go through mitosis and through a lot of cells uh, divisions you know you're going to get two and then four and then eight and then 16 32 64 etc everything times two until you develop into um, obviously a fetus and then you're born 
and then you're now having all these trillion cells but yet every cell that you have in your body is identical in terms of DNA they're clones but yet there's a process called differentiation so there's a point where these cells um, get their different activities uh, they become specialized so it's they're not you're not just a blob of cells that'd be nasty right a blob of cells you're actually you have heart cells you have muscle cells eye cells bone cells etc spinal cord cells and so the the point is because these cells needed a, a function certain genes turned on certain genes turned off and now they changed but the DNA is still the same so keep that idea in mind and then um, we grow up to adult again we're doing the steps of mitosis that's how we go and develop we get more cells to our body and we become adults so that's that's the thing to remember then we go into our final step um, which is again uh, this this idea of of uh, meiosis happening in males and females so obviously uh, the the creation of sperm is called spermatogenesis and spermatogenesis happens in the males and the testes okay so it the, there are cells there and then there's 46 chromosomes in, in those cells in the testes now those cells are not sperm they do make sperm but they're not sperm themselves we call them germ cells because those are the the reproductive cells that lead to our sex cells so you're going to have two meiotic not mitotic meiotic cell divisions and you're going to get four viable viable means um, living or alive viable sperm and over here you're going to get um, notice you're going to get you're going to get four egg cells but these are not really egg cells here all three of these will die their polar bodies what they do is they kind of donate all their cytoplasm and um, you know ingredients materials nutrients all their organelles mitochondria all those things they give to this one cell so that this one can survive and become the egg and you're wondering well why does it have to be so big well this is the one that's doing most of the work re really uh, the sperm comes in it's gonna drop off the chromosomes and that's pretty much it but now it's the eggs duty to nourish the developing embryo because this is gonna um, go through mitosis remember this is gonna be the zygote the first cell of your body so it needs all the necessary things to start off this magical cell division process of mitosis where we're gonna make identical cells to make you as the um, as finally the adult that you are 